Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Animations Essential series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can blend the top half and the bottom half of two animations together within one animation state. So what I mean by that is in some situations you are going to need to blend two animations to make things a little bit more efficient. For example, when you're reloading, you are going to be able to want to reload while you're walking, idling or running. And instead of creating three separate animations, what you could do is just blend your normal walking and running stuff with your reloading stuff. So essentially you take the top half of the reloading animation and then blend that in with the lower half sort of below the legs of the walking and running animations instead of having to create loads and loads of individual animations. So we're going to be showing you exactly how you can set this up in today's video and by the end of this video you're going to be able to see all the different situations where you might want to use something like this. So first things first, this is going to be done inside of an animation state. So I'm just going to drag out from my walking and running state and just add a new one and I'm going to give it the name reloading. Now even though we don't have like a weapon in our game or anything like that, there is some reloading animations we can use within the animation starter pack for the purpose of this video. What you're also going to need to have is a reloading variable to set up the transitional rule so that we can also preview this when we're done as well. So just create a variable with the type boolean um, and just call it reload. Open up your transitional rule and just hook that reload boolean into there. Going back into our state machine, what we can do now then is actually work on the blend. And the way that we're going to do this is by using the layered blend per bone node. And when we open this up, you are going to get access to a couple of different nodes. You've got your base pose, and then you've got your blend pose. So what you can do is take, you know, one half of the base pose, one half of the blend pose, and mix those together. So the base pose is going to be our walking and running in this case. So what I'm going to do is just go to my asset browser in the bottom right hand corner, and just find my blend space, my test blend space, and hook this up to our base pose. Chuck your speed and your direction variables into those as well. And then for our blend pose, we're going to use one of the reloading animations. So just scroll up in your asset browser and then just find one for reload. So reload rifle hip and hook this up into your blend pose. So what we're going to do now then is show you how you can actually separate this and the separation is actually done on bones. So if we go over to our skeleton tab in the top right hand corner, we can choose a bone to blend it at. Now for me, because I'm trying to do it top half and lower half, the best way to do this for me is going to be the spine. So essentially from below spine zero one, I'm going to have it play the base pose. Above that, it is going to play the uh, blend pose. So what we're going to do is go back into my blueprint and we can set this up within the details panel in the top right. So over here, just expand your layer setup, expand your members and just add an element. Within here, expand, the, expand this and then the element is the blend uh, is the bone at which we're trying to blend at. So in this case, it is going to be spine underscore zero one. This is case sensitive, and it is also you've got to make sure you type in the bone name 100% correct. So if it doesn't work for whatever reason, just go to your skeleton view and just check that spine zero one. And then if I go back to my blueprint, I can see this and also I can see the S for spine was not capitalized as well. If I set my blend depth to one, it is going to now blend this. So now what we're going to do is quickly preview this to make sure that everything is blending in the way that we want it to do that. So just go ahead and compile this. And then what we're going to do is in our anim preview editor, just make sure you've got that tab open here, hook up your reload. 
and you're going to notice it's going to start reloading or pretending to reload a weapon. However, if I also turn up my speed, you can see the feet start to move as well and it's still moving the hands trying to do that reloading. So essentially, you guys can see that we have quite easily managed to merge the top half and the bottom half of two animations to form essentially what is a new animation for this animation state. Once again guys, that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you guys are going to find this quite useful from everything to swinging swords, shooting guns and all sorts, but for now, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.